Islam has been growing, growing, growing. Can you imagine the Quran? Where was it revealed? There are surahs revealed in Mecca. There were surahs revealed in Medina. In other words, when I was a Sul, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was in Mecca. These ayah surahs, they were revealed in Mecca. Why? The Prophet was there. When the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was commanded to move over to Yathrib, then became Medina, then there are a minority, minority of surahs which are revealed in Medina. Okay? And that's where our Prophet preached in Mecca, in Medina, and he went to preach in Taif. Ten days. Okay? But now look around in the world. At the moment we are standing in Great Britain, Speaker's Corner. You see so many Muslims from so many different Muslim countries, from so many different ethnic groups, from who speak so many different languages. Now, in the year 2017, in the Christian calendar, in the year 1438, in our Islamic calendar, Okay, now you have millions of Muslims in North America, millions of Muslims in South America, millions of Muslims in Africa, millions of Muslims in Asia, and more than 55 million Muslims in Europe. Now here I must point out, especially uh, for you brothers is, because first time you are here, you know, some people might think that Muslims in Europe they are the ones who are asylum seekers, the ones who are immigrants. But let me remind you particularly, in Europe now, we have Muslim countries, Bosnia Herzegovina, capital Sarajevo. They are Europeans, yet majority is Muslim. And then south of Bosnia Herzegovina, we have Kosovo capital Pristina, they are broken away from the Christian country known as Serbia, okay? They are Europeans in Kosovo and they are majority Muslim. Towards the west of Bosnia-Herzegovina, towards the west of Kosovo, we have Albania, capital Tirana. They are Europeans, yet majority Muslim. And then to the south of Bosnia-Herzegovina, south of Albania, south of Kosovo, we have a beautiful country by the name of Macedonia. <coughs> yes, known as Macedonia. Macedonia, capital Skopje. Do you know around 30, more than 35% of people in Macedonia? Macedonia, the country of Skandri Azam, the country of Alexander the Great. More than 35% at the moment they are Muslim. And the figures are showing that in the future, in the future, Macedonia is going to be a majority Muslim country. So, you know, it's a big thing. When we use common sense, how can, when one Muhammad, peace be upon him, the first Muhammad ever, yes, he was the first Muhammad ever. And what does the name Muhammad mean? It means highly praised. Highly praised. Of course, as the name says, highly praised. That name is so highly praised that even now in London is the favorite name for baby boys. So Islam, all the way from Mecca, all the way from Medina, all the way from that area. Now, that country, now we know as Saudi Arabia, Islam is everywhere in the world. Why? Because it is the truth. Why has Islam spread? Is it because we weren't good people? No. Is it because we weren't nice people? No. If we were bad, if we were not good, if we were not, if we were not humane, if we were not charitable, if we were not good people, helpful people, Islam, would it have spread? No. Anything which is bad, people don't like it. But because Islam was good, Islam was acceptable, 
Islam was believable. That is why when people become Muslims, that also oh, Muhammad was an Arab. Peace be upon him. He was an Arab. Why should North Americans become Muslim? Why should South Americans become Muslim? Why should Black Africans become Muslim? Why should Pakistanis, Bangladeshis, Indians, Indonesians, Malaysians, South Africans, why should they become Muslim? No. Who have become Muslim? People from all walks of life. <laughs> Rich people have become Muslim. The aristocrats have become Muslim. The lawmakers have become Muslim. The middle class has become Muslim. Poor people have become Muslim. The free people have become Muslim. The slaves became Muslim. For example, Bilal ibn Rabah. Okay? So Islam is acceptable everywhere. It has been accepted everywhere. And let me point out to you, especially for you, that ever since our Rasul, ever since the last and the greatest of all the prophets, Muhammad peace be upon him, ever since he started preaching, Islam has been spreading, spreading, spreading. Yes? Why? Because it is the truth. People from so many different religions, so many different beliefs. Now we are Pakistan, population around 220 million. Do you know the majority of those Pakistanis? Their ancestors, they were Hindus. So what did they do? They left their Hinduism. They left their ways. They became Muslim. People in the largest Muslim country population-wise, Indonesia, around population of around 250 million. The ancestors of those Muslims, they used to be Hindu, they used to be Buddhist. So what did they do? They left Buddhism. They left Hinduism. They became Muslim. And yet, there is, you know, Indonesia, the largest Muslim country population-wise, Indonesia, it has so many islands. There's one particular island in Indonesia, the island of Bali, B-A-L-I, the island of Bali. Still in that island, so many Hindus are living there. Why? Some people say, oh, Islam spread by the sword. If Islam spread by the sword, who can answer this? Indonesia, the largest... Jesus is God, he rose from the dead, Pope Francis is his messenger. Allahu <laughs> Akbar, Allah is the greatest. Allahu Shaitan. Allahu Billahi Don't use those words, okay? Muhammad or Rasul Shaitan. Excuse me, uh, you're acting like Shaitan yourself. Because look, look at us Muslims, when we speak, when we debate, we don't insult Christians. If you have something to say, we don't. Even. We don't swear at anybody. I sworn at you. I've spoken okay. the truth. No, you haven't. Okay, okay. okay. Did, you, okay. did you? Okay. Did you? No. No. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus is God. Know. Okay. Muhammad is okay. not we'll God. We'll have a we'll have a debate. We'll have a debate. Allah is not okay. God. Excuse me. Debate. Don't debate. decide. Debate. We'll have a debate. Okay. Debate. Now look, look. As you know, I am a Muslim. So, are you a Christian? You know very well the answer to that. Give us the answer. You know it. Okay, you're scared to say you're a Christian. No, I'm not scared to say that. I'm okay, I'll tell you you're a Christian, yes? Okay, we Muslims, our Quran, everywhere, anywhere, is one and the same. From the beginning to our the Our church end. is one and the same. Okay, listen, let me finish. Our Quran, as it was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Muhammad peace be upon him. He wasn't a prophet. We read it in the same way. Now, did you, did you say you are a Christian? You know the answer to that. Ah, you're scared to answer. Yes, no, okay. To answer. okay, let me tell you, you're a Christian. Now, let me ask you. So, the Bible, Christian Bible, which I hold in my hands, this is the Protestant Bible with 66 books. Yes. My question to you is, is this your Bible? It's part of our Bible, it's not all of it. <laughs> it's part of <laughs> his Bible. <laughs> Sir, the Bible... But we are in... not people of the book. Okay, we are on. people of the church. Okay, hang our on. teaching comes from the church, okay, not the book. Okay, hang on, I will ask you. Okay, wait. 
We believe well, in the magisterium, yes, the teaching authority of the church. We know what the result is. The result will be you will be leaving. Okay? <laughs> because, okay, listen. Our Quran, any Quran we pick up from a Muslim place of worship, from because a Because you are people of a book. We are not people of a book. Is the Bible your book? No. Is the Bible a tree? It's a document of the church. So the Bible is a book, yes? Yes, but it's not all that we take out. Okay, okay, excuse me. You said that this Bible, is it complete? That Bible is not complete. Okay, listen carefully. The Christian in front of us, he is saying that the Bible, which is used in churches, this Bible in my hands, the new international version. This is a Protestant Bible. In other that words, Bible has 66 books. The complete Bible has 73 books. Okay, let me tell you. This Christian, okay, ladies and gentlemen, this Christian is a Catholic Christian. His Bible, Bible is a Greek word. It means book. His Bible has 73 books. Yes. Okay, the Bible in my hand, what happened? In the 16th century, Martin Luther, a German, he took away seven books from the Bible. Why? He said they were apocrypha. Apocrypha means unreliable. My question is, how can Bible they had for centuries in the 16th century, they find out seven of those books in the Bible, they are Apocrypha, they are unreliable. You'll have to ask a Protestant that and I'm not one. Are you a Christian? You know the answer to that. Do you want me to ask a Hindu about the Bible? No. But why, the, why the Protestants have taken seven books out, you'll have to ask one of them, not us. Okay. I don't know why the Protestants have Okay, listen, we Muslims, we are united. Why? Because our Quran is one and the same everywhere. The Shias have a different Quran. Don't the they? Quran is the same. <laughs> the Quran in the hands of these uh, you called Shias is the same. Okay, now listen to me. Answer my question. While we Muslims, we are united that we have the same one, same Quran. Excuse me, can I carry on? We are united. So listen listen to me. Listen to the English. Okay, listen to my English. I said, okay, brothers, I listen to my English. Excuse me, no, don't attack. Listen, listen to my English. My English, okay? If you understand English. I said, we Muslims, our Quran is the same and one everywhere. So we are united. Yes? Now, 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 you Christians, you are so disunited. Why? If I ask a Catholic Christian, is the Bible with 73 books the book of God? This Christian will say, Catholic, he will say yes. But he says, Protestant Bible is not complete. But if I ask a Protestant Christian, is the Catholic Bible the right Bible? He will say no. Why? He will say, Protestant Christian, he will say his Bible, this Bible, 66 books, is the right Bible. And then you ask the Orthodox Christians, we for example, the same amount of material in their Bible as we do. Okay. They just split some books up. Excuse Isaiah me. appears in the Orthodox okay, okay, Bible okay, as three okay, books. Okay, okay. okay. Daniel was Answer my question, Mr. Christian. The Orthodox Christian Bible, the ones which the Russian people use, and, and some other people, the Orthodox Bible, that Bible has 81 books. Is that true? Yeah, but the same amount of material as the Catholic Bible. It's just that some books appear as more than one book. Isaiah in the Orthodox Bible is split up. Make it simple. Daniel is split up. In Make it simple. Okay, come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Excuse me. Do you believe in Jesus? 
You know I believe in Jesus. Okay, you, he says he believes in Jesus. We believe in Isa, alayhi salam. Okay, because when Isa... Jesus is God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through whom all things were made, with us made, and for our salvation came okay, down okay. from heaven, okay. was incarnate okay, okay. by the Holy Spirit, No Mary, party political broadcast. He was crucified. This is a debate. Also for okay. us, and the Speak Pontius English. Pilate, he suffered death and was buried on okay. the third day. He rose okay. again from the dead, okay. he ascended into heaven, and is seated okay. at the right hand of God, the okay. Father okay. Almighty. Okay. Do, you, do you, as a Christian, believe in your Bible? Yes? And as far as it applies to us. Well, we Muslims believe in our Quran. Yes, we don't believe in the way you believe in the Quran. Okay. We don't believe we don't believe everything in the Bible applies to everyone. Okay. Let me tell Some you. Parts of the Bible, let me finish. Okay. Some parts of the Bible only apply to kings. There's a whole part of Samuel. That's not what kings will do. That doesn't apply to me. I'm not a king. Okay. There's some parts that only apply to priests. I'm not a priest. Some parts only apply to Jewish people. There's one bit in the New Testament where Jesus speaks to the disciples of what he said in the only okay, okay, I'm stop the there. Post. Stop there. there. Stop there. there. This is a debate. Listen. Okay, okay. You understand what Okay, listen. We Muslims, our Quran, it matters to every Muslim. The Bible matters to us, but listen, it doesn't all apply listen, to us. Listen, listen. Our Quran, it is for, for to read it and to believe in it. Now, do you believe in your Bible? We believe in it, but we don't believe everything that tells you to apply to us. Right. Okay. We Muslims, we believe every surah, chapter, every ayah, verse, every word, every letter of our Quran from the beginning to the end. As a Christian, do you believe in every word in your Bible? In as far as it applies to me. Yes. In as far as it applies to me. Yes. Okay. And there's now, a passage in Leviticus I'll give where you it an tells, tells Jewish priests okay. to put a hand on a bull's head and slit its okay. throat. I'll give you an example. You, I've never put my hand on a bull's okay. head. Okay. I'll give you an example. That doesn't apply to me. I'll give you an example. Listen. In our Quran, Allah tells us in several ayahs that pig meat is haram, prohibited, not allowed. One of those examples is in Surah Al-Baqarah, the cow. Surah chapter number 2, ayah number 173, 173. Okay, that pig meat is haram, we are not allowed to eat it. Now, sir, in your Bible, in the book of Leviticus, which only applies to Jews, is the book of Leviticus in the Bible? Yes, but it doesn't apply to us. Okay, so you said yes. So is the Bible a Christian book? That part of the Bible is a Jewish book. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, now listen, listen. This Bible, okay, let's do this. Okay, 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 brothers. Okay, okay, this is a good debate. Okay, okay. Okay, in listen. Mark 7, Jesus says that all foods are clean. Okay. That does apply to Christians. Do in you? the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 11. All food is clean. Peter shows, Jesus, God shows Peter the unclean animals in a sheet coming okay, down anyway, out of heaven. Anyway. He tells Peter to eat them. And, okay, says, listen. No. and God says, do not call unclean what I have called clean. He's reading in some verses he, he likes Paul to believe Paul says, do not let to be food okay. or drink. Okay. Those are the parts that okay. apply to us. Stop that there. No. We can eat anything in okay. moderation. Did you we say, can eat pig meat and okay. I do. Listen, did you say you can eat anything? Yes. Can you eat a frog? Yes. I don't, but the French do. No, can you eat? <laughs> and the Filipinos. Are, are you anti-French? Eh? You racist. Are you anti-French? <laughs> no, not a bit. So I why do you a mention French the church. French You're talking rubbish. Okay. I go to a but French church. How can I be anti-French? I am speaking... I am... Hey! I am speaking English, 
English is not rubbish. Okay, <laughs> you French stay there. Frogs, you I stay don't. there. I can knock out your argument. At the moment, <laughs> is a debate between a Muslim and we a Christian. All things in no, moderation. No thing you are we can't. We Muslims, we are educated. Gluttony. We're not we allowed Muslim. to eat till we become ill. Okay, listen. In your Bible, about pig meat, I mentioned in a, about in our Quran. Haram, haram. Prohibited. We don't eat it. We not are not really allowed to eat it. In your Bible. In the book of Leviticus, which only applies to Jews, is the Bible is the Bible a Christian book? Not all of it. Actually, why don't you take the why don't you take that part of the Bible that you're quoting? There is a Jewish book. Is it? Okay, 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 brother. Okay, excuse me, sir. Did you say the Bible I am holding is a Jewish book? Part of it is. Part of it. And the part you just mentioned about not eating pig meat definitely is a Jewish Okay, book. anyway, he's not telling the truth. Because this Bible is used the New to preach in the Bible, in the churches. Okay, now, now, in your... Actually, don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. Listen, in your Bible, in the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 7, it says all foods are clean. And Jesus says that. We can eat pig meat. Wrong. Listen. Wrong. Listen. Listen. Be patient. In your Bible, in the Christian Bible, any Christian Bible, in the book of Leviticus, chapter... Which only applies to Jews. Is the book of Leviticus in your Bible? Yes, but it doesn't uh, apply yes. to us. Yes. So are you a Jew? No, I'm not a Jew. <laughs> right, so it's in your book, that means it's in your Bible, yes? It's in the Bible, but it doesn't apply to Christians. So what, what means what, in the Bible? Your, what's your point? It no, does. Okay. Anyway, let me tell you. What's your in point? The, in the book, in the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verses 7 and 8, any Christian Bible. And in the book of Deuteronomy, which also only applies to Jews. No, it's in your Bible. Yes, but it doesn't apply to us. What do you mean? Okay, yes, okay. but okay. it doesn't apply. Okay, no, but he's okay trying, listen. He's trying to make a point. Excuse me. In, the in the yeah, book, what is the point? What's your point? Be patient. You will hear me. <laughs> in your simple, be patient. Listen to the speaker because you are in speaker's corner. I am the speaker. Okay, just because I am Muslim speaker, don't be jealous. Allah Akbar. Okay, anyway. In the Christian Bible, any Bible, in the book of Deuteronomy, we are talking about pig meat. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, ayah, verse number 8, the Bible says, pig meat is unclean. And in the New Testament, it says pig meat is clean. Quiet, listen. Hey, respect your Bible. I'm respecting Okay, listen, your Bible says, do you understand English? Yes, sir. sir, do you understand English? I've lived in England all my life. Do you understand it? Okay, listen. In English, in the Bible it says, Book of Deuteronomy chapter 14 verse 8, it says, Pig meat is unclean. The Bible says, Do not eat Pig meat. The Bible says. The Bible says. That's not a thing. The Bible says. That's a Torah thing. That's a Jewish thing. Everything that you know. Stay there. Let me finish. Stay there. You're welcome. Excuse me. Stay there. Excuse me. You Christian, don't you have manners? Wait. Queue up. Queue up. Queue up. Look, I'm speaking to one Christian. Madam, stay there, please. I want you to stay. It doesn't matter. I want you to stay. And there are cameras here. Stay. Okay. Okay, brother. Brother, stay. Madam, stay. Okay. When I give you this words, I would like to speak with a Christian lady. Okay. I'm going to read you this. Yes, sir. Let me finish. Mark's Gospel, chapter 7. No, Don't you see it. that nothing that enters a man from the outside can make him unclean? For it doesn't like, go into his heart, like, but into his stomach, it and then out of like his body. To to in saying this, Jesus, Jesus declared that okay. all okay. Anyway, food is clean. Stay, stay. All stay there, foods stay, stay. clean. Excuse me. All foods clean. Why? Jesus declared why does, all foods clean. Why? Contradiction. 
Why? Because the Bible says pig meat is unclean. Jesus declared all foods clean. Confused.com. What about? Brushing your teeth doesn't make your mouth clean. Okay. Stay there. Excuse me. And the Bible, the verse is finished. Deuteronomy chapter 14. All, all foods right. clean. No, Mr. all food. Jesus declared no, all no. foods clean. Listen. We can eat pig meat, and I do, and I love it. Uh, listen, listen. That was book of Deuteronomy chapter. Which only applies to Jews. Quiet. Are you a Jew? No. So in disguise. So I'm not listening. So you're a Jew in disguise. Jesus yes. was a Jew, though. Jesus okay. Was a Jew. Quiet. Jesus was a Jew. So that was it. Book of Deuteronomy, we are chapter not bound, 14, we are not bound verse 8, by the that verse, it ends up with, it says, the Bible says, do, the Bible says, do not even go near the dead carcass of a pig. Don't even go near the dead carcass of a pig. That's the Bible. And look at these people. Okay. Okay, Madam Sayedir, you're welcome. I want to speak to you. <laughs> Very Why nice of you. Right Why don't you become a Christian? Anyway, Listen, I'm never. Right now. I, don't I don't want to become confused.com. I don't want to become lost. The church says we can eat pork, and I believe okay. it, so I which, do. Okay, which church? Catholic church, the Catholic Protestant church, church, yes. Presbyterian church, Mormon church. Which church?